What's up guys, welcome to your 34th Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about subclasses and superclasses and this is kind of a way of how you can use one class to inherit all the traits of another class and if you work with anything like CSS before then you probably know a little bit about parent and child and uh, inheritance and stuff like that but um, well let's just go ahead and get started uh, the first thing we need to do is make a class, and I promise by the end of this tutorial you will know um, what subclasses and superclasses are. So let's go ahead and make a class, and this is going to be the parent class. So I'm going to name mine parent class, go figure, and let's put a couple variables in here. Var1 equals, uh, let's put I am var1, just make it a string, and let's go ahead and make another one just for fun. I don't know if we're going to use it or not, but say I am variable2. Now we have a class with parent class, it's called, and we have two variables in it. But what if we wanted to go ahead and make another class just like this, but we didn't want to type everything out, aka laziness? Well, you can do this, just make a class, uh, go ahead and name it child class, because it's going to inherit all the characteristics of parent class without having to type anything out. Now after you write the name of the, your class, if you wanted to inherit all the characteristics of this class, all you have to do is type the class you want to inherit, a r e n t. Make sure I'm not typing anything wrong. All you have to do is type what class traits you want to inherit as parameters in this class. So now in our instruction, all you have to do is put pass. In the case you guys don't know, pass means don't do anything. It's pretty much just a uh, blank. I know that it's weird that they would have something like that in programming, but they do. So now we have a parent class with all these variables and a child class with all, all of these variables. And you can make as many classes as you want and inherit it from a class to get all of their, um, uh, what's it called, like information. So now let me show you guys how this actually works. We need a couple objects to access those variables. So we need parent object and set it equal to parent class with empty parameters. And now we can go ahead and press enter. And now we can use our parent object to access the variables. So I shouldn't have typed such long object names. But parent objects var1 equals I am var1. Now this was expected because you because we use the parent class to access its own variable and it printed out I am var1. But we didn't write these two variables in child, so you think it will access the variables the same? Well, let's find out. Let's go ahead and make a child object and make it equal to a child class and uh, put some empty parameters right there. And now we made an object that can access the variables as well. So let's go ahead and put child object dot var1 and see what we get. I am var1. Let's see if it works with uh, var2, just for fun. Var2, I am var2. And as you can see, this is a different way where you can inherit all the traits of a class just by putting it in the parameters. And this is useful when you want to copy an entire class, but you don't want to have to type every single uh, variable and method in it. So that's how you can um, copy an entire class. And they name it child and parent or subclass and superclass because this inherits the traits of a bigger one. So that is your quick tutorial on parents and child classes also called subclasses and superclasses by some people. So uh, that's your quick tutorial on how you can use one class to inherit all the traits of another class and also um, call the variables. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a little something here and I look forward to teaching you something in the next tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then.